Hey, greetings, everyone. Welcome back to my cybersecurity show, because uh, I'm glad to see you there. We are continuing, as we do, in the Port Swigger Web Security Academy series, the lab walkthroughs. And today is uh, uh, another RCE, hopefully. That's, that's what we want out of this lovely episode, because those web shells, they just make me happy. I don't know about you, but when you get that lovely web shell and you fire off a command string and it does it, well, sir, I submit that life does not get any better than that. Well, maybe it does, but it's pretty darn good, right? I remember the first time I did this kind of thing. I was showing my wife. I was like, check this out. I'm, I'm, I'm learning how to hack things. And she's like sitting there folding laundry and I've got my laptop. And she goes, is that it? And I go, yeah. She goes, that's nice. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, if you only knew, if you only knew how hard that was for me to figure out. But now, after many years... I bring it to you, and hopefully you're excited as I am. I'm still excited to this day. Here we are, web shell upload via content type restriction bypass. That's today's lab. And this lab contains a vulnerable image upload function. Well, this sounds familiar. In the previous episode, we did the exact same kind of thing, right? There was a vulnerable image upload function. It attempts to prevent users from uploading unexpected file types which is a little bit different than the last one because in the last one it did no validation. But this one it does. It says it prevents users, or at least it attempts to, from uploading unexpected file types, but relies on checking user controllable input to verify this. Oh, it's a, it's, it's, you hate to see it happen, right? I've seen it a million times though. It is, is one of those things where you're like, yeah, I put some control in place and now we're good. <laughs> but I can I can change it and I can modify it and it and it trusts it. Anyway, to solve the lab, upload a basic PHP web shell and use it to exfiltrate the contents of forward slash home forward slash Carlos forward slash secret. And remember, it is uh, the answer is going to be, you know, Lee Harvey Oswald. Uh, let's see here. Submit this secret using the Illuminati. No, <laughs> submit this secret using the button provided in the lab banner. You can log into your own account using the following account, Wiener Peter. So I'll copy Wiener because I can't spell it for whatever reason. I just can't. Uh, all right. So we're going to have another file upload. We're going to use the PHP web shell, but we're going to have to do some finagling to get around the control mechanism that's trying to prevent us from un uploading those unexpected file types. So I've got Burp Suite running in the background, right? It's already going. It's already logging. And I've already fired up the uh, the lab itself. So let's get logged in, click my accounts. And from there, I will put the username in of Wiener and then the password of Peter. Hit log in. No, I do not wish to save, never save, never save. All right, so I am logged in, and we also have the avatar thing again. So we can try what we did last time, right? We can browse, and we can go to, what is it, my home, and I've got the Port Swigger Labs, and we got our shell.php. If you don't remember what that looked like, whoa, cancel. I accidentally hit the wrong thing. <laughs> uh, I have this catch shell.php, which is a simple... Uh, query string to run shell commands. And you can see that is through, it's all done with PHP. It's going to echo back whatever it does and say, hey, system, operating system that is, I have a get parameter, a query string, if you will, called command. Anything after that, if it is a shell command, please run it and then echo back the response of that. So that's what shell.php does. So just... Just copy pasted that into a file called shell.php. From here, I just hit uh, highlight the one I want, which is shell.php, hit open and hit upload. Let's see what happens. Oh, here we go. It says, sorry, file type application x-php is not allowed. Only image JPEG and image PNG are allowed. Sorry, there was an error uploading your file. So now I know what kind of file type it is. So I'm going to copy that. And let's go back to burp because we've got that post right there. And that's going to be our money. And let's just kind of take a look at this thing here. And there is the 
multi-part content thing that's going on. You'll notice I tried to throw that shell PHP is right there. This is content type application x.php. I'm guessing that if I change this to the an actual image file, right? If we go back, it tells us what that was. I can do image JPEG or image PNG. So if I just kind of change that, I'm guessing it will it will be okay with that. So I'm gonna copy this. That's not where I want. I want to go here. I'm going to send this to repeater. So I just clicked on the post request, highlighted it, right click, send to repeater, and there is the repeater. Okay. So if I come in here and let me, I'm gonna go full screen so that you don't miss any of the action here. But in here, we've got session cookie, we've got host, we've got avatar, we've got accept. I want to post this. Here's the refer, here's the content, the origin. I'm here at upgrade insecure requests. Here we go. This is the action right here. So this has content type. Bada bing, application PHP. What happens if I change this? Paste to image slash JPEG. I wonder, I don't know, but we're about to find out. Uh, hit send, we got a 200, and it does say the file, avatars shell.php has been uploaded. Oh man, isn't it fun? You see, when they let you, when they let, when, when they trust what you're doing and anything, when, when, when web admins trust anything that the end user gives them, they've made the mistake. And all we have to do as security people is try to find where they assumed trust and then exploit that trust. Of course, don't do any of this for any nefarious method or, or things, right? They'll only, this is all for learning to becoming a better a uh, security professional to make the world a more secure place by finding these flaws before bad guys do or bad girls and fixing it going, Oh, we found you. You should, mm, that was wrong. Let's go back to the drawing board and make that better. That's why we do this. And it's a lot of fun, right? So now that we have that, we should be able to go to that file and uh, yeah, do all sorts of crazy stuff. So back to the story. We'll go back to our account, which now should have a broken link. And as you, if you didn't watch the previous uh, RCE via shell, a uh, web shell upload episode, then you should check that out. You know, a lot of this will make a whole lot more sense, but I'm just going to right click on this and then click copy image link, open a new tab and then paste, right click and paste and go. That's going to take me to this blank white page. And you're like, Daniel, it doesn't look like a lot. That's cool. Go up into the URL uh, or the, um, the address bar where the URL resides. Type in question mark, command equals, and give it a command. Like, I don't know, who am I? And if it works, you'll notice I am logged in as Carlos. And just like what we saw before, you'll notice it kind of like echoes that twice. It's just a janky weird thing when you're working with janky weird shells. It's a janky weird thing. Okay. So now all we got to do to win the game is instead of who am I, we want to cat slash home slash Carlos slash secret secret fired off. And there it is. And just like before, it is being um, doubled. It's doubled. We can see this starts with L7PIZ, and I can see right here L7PIZ, and I can just copy out from there. That's the entire string. Copy that. Go back here. At the top is a submit resolu uh, solution button. Copy and paste that joker right in. Hit OK. And oh, there it is. I didn't have to refresh the page this time. Last time I had to hit the refresh button. Congratulations. We solved the lab, and this was fun. Well, hey, there you go. Another way that even though you might walk into uh, some, some defenses, they might not be great defenses. There might be simple ways around them. And if you understand a few of those techniques, 
get a few of them in the old toolkit, you should, when you see them go, well, I wonder if it, if it's really doing this. And then you can start to poke sticks at it and see, what are you, what are you doing? What do you do? What if I do this? What if I do that? What, 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 how do you, and he, ah, it's getting mad. Ooh, it's mad now. Right. Uh, and that's fine. It can get mad. Uh, as long as it doesn't give shell, right. Or do any other crazy, stupid thing it shouldn't do. But that's, uh, that was a lot of fun. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, I implore you to like, subscribe, and comments. Hit the notification bell if you want to know when these episodes come out. Hint, hint, it's usually on Fridays, even though uh, it's been a couple of weeks since. Uh, it's the silly season, right? We're in December, man. I'm, I'm busy with doing Christmas stuff. So uh, hopefully, I think next week, we will wrap this up. And the, the next three episodes, I'm going to drop them in one day. So keep an eye out for that. Until the next time, though, keep hacking.